Hi friends, this is Prasad. You are watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario which was asked by one of our subscribers. So let's go and then see what is that. First, let me explain you the requirement. First thing is that we need to highlight values in the table visual. You can see that over here I do have subcategories and total sales. And I want to highlight the maximum and the minimum value over there. And then we'll see more updated versions of this one, how to like highlight the top five, top three, or else bottom five, bottom three, whatever it might be. Before going into the solution, there's a small intro, right? We are uh, writing Power BI with SQL. So we are having, so we are starting new batches for Power BI and SQL, and even also for real-time project also. So if you are interested to learn Power BI with some real-time projects, or else if you wanted to get an only real-time batch also, we do have batches starting very soon. Please contact on this number for more details. Again, we are on Power BI with Prasad on YouTube and Telegram also. Please join there. Okay, to get more information, please subscribe to Power BI with Prasad YouTube channel and then share it if you like our content. Thank you so much. Okay, so we will go to our scenario. Simply, I got a table visual with the subcategories and then I created a measure, which is nothing but sum of sales. I dropped out here so you can see subcategory wise total sales. Let me show you my data. So this is nothing but a simple superstore data, which having a lot of sales data with categories, subcategory and sales. So again, our main motto is to see subcategory wise total sales and to highlight the maximum and minimum values. Not only that and some other highlighting things also. I'll explain Okay, a lot of other variations. So please try to watch until the end. Right. To achieve this one, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a rank. Again, we no need to show the rank over here in the table, but still we can create a rank measure. Through that, we can achieve this solution. Again, how to do that and how to achieve the solution, let's see over here. Let me create a measure over here. Again, in that one, try to create rank. Let me name it as R and K. All use rank x function create okay rank and after that okay let me take okay again if you take orders let me show you that what happens and then again the r expression will be total sales right and then I no values over here and then I want to make it as descending let me close that one so this is what I created right if I for explanation, I'm just dropping this one in the table so that you can see whether we are getting the right or not. In a later part, I'll remove that from the table. No need to display this rank in your visual, right? You can see that again. You will get like this because this current context is applied on this one. To remove that, what we'll do? Simply all selected of that particular column, so categories. Right now, let me apply this. So then you can see the rank over here. And then if you can see, rank based upon totals. Which one got first rank, second rank, something like that. Again, that's fine. Again, I don't want to have this rank over here. So in my table, so that's fine. I'll keep that rank uh, measure aside. Then I'll try to create conditionally format to this one. So highlight, how to highlight this again. Uh, if you want to uh, conditionally format this, okay, in the gradient and then rules we may not do like exactly what we needed so that's the reason why i want to do like field formatting so how to do that one again we need to create another measure so with the use of the rank that we created we need to create this particular what we call dash then you can make it um, um field format or else whatever you make it like color highlight one that's anything, anything. Let's make it like color measure or highlight measure. So whatever you want, you can make it. All right, let's make it like this. And then afterwards, I want to write it in variables. Variable, and then I want to find what is the maximum value in this particular in this particular 
table, what is the maximum value? That is what I want to find it. So you can see, this is the maximum total sales. I want to find it. So how to do that one? Very simple. So let's make it a name. So max sale, again, equal to, so we need to use max x. Why? Because, right? We need to use the table again. So which table, from which table, we need to get that one. So from orders table, if you take from orders table, so again, as earlier, we will see the same issue. For that, again, I'll take all selected. Ignore this current context. So ignore this current context. I'm taking this all selected. Right? And after that, again, the subcategory. Again, I want to ignore this current context. So that's fine. Now after that, so I want to find, okay, my rank again the measure this measure so what is the maximum value irrespective of the subcategory what is the maximum rank so that is what i want to find out here that's fine so let me create what is the minimum rank so let's make it like not sale this is the rank Right, again, this is also like, okay, minimum rank, right? Again, here we need to find the minimum max. Okay, use minimum max and then find, again, all selected. Want to delete that current context filtration, right? And after that, okay, so the R and K measure that we wrote, want to use that and then I'll find that one. And after that, we need to return that. So what we need to return is, I want to return multiple conditions. So I'll use switch function, which if my x, if my value is true, again, I want to sh show you, I want to tell that. Okay, so my expression is true. What is true? My value is true. What is my value if my r and k, so the rank, if the rank is equal to, again, right, so min rank, the variable that we create over here. You see this, the variable that we created, minimum rank. If you want to get the minimum, whenever my I do have my rank is minimum rank, then if my rank is one first rank, then I want to give so some other color again. So what is the color? Orange. Right? Again, yeah, the my next, my next condition is R and K in R measure, sorry. R and K. R measure is equal to like the variable which you written over here, one which we wrote over here, max rank. When my rank is equal to maximum rank, so when my rank is equal to the biggest rank, at that time, okay, I want to get and this color. This is my condition. Simply, I will find what is the maximum rank and what is the minimum rank with respect to this particular subcategory. Right? After that, so let me take this measure and then use two conditional format for this one. Right, and then we want to use background color and then we'll go for here, field values, and then highlight measure and click OK. Can you see? Whenever I do have the maximum, okay, total sales, that like orange color, when you have, uh, okay, the lowest to total sales, you got this based upon the measure. Even if you drop the measure, you can see the ranks, okay, the same rank. Right. Whenever you have top rank, Okay, this is what, and then I'll explain uh, our, this one also. You see this, we found what is the maximum rank and then what is the minimum rank, whenever the minimum rank, so minimum rank means, okay, the first rank, whenever you have the first rank, okay, at that time orange, maximum rank, whenever you have the maximum rank, okay, I want to get light green color. You can't give it like whenever I have first rank, okay, over here, whenever I have 17th rank, because, 
this should be dynamic. So when you want to make it dynamic, this is how you do. Again, you don't need to take the rank measure in your table, even though without that, you can use that one. That's fine. Okay, this is how you do. And again, we'll go for the next version, how to do that, okay, in another way, like uh, something, uh, next version of this one. Again, let me copy this one, and then let me create another measure, right? In that one. In that one, what I'll do is like, I'll do something like whenever I do have, okay, top three values, or else top five values, I need to get it in one color. Whenever I do have least five values or least three values, I need to get it in another color. Right. How to do that one? Very simple. So if we need to make some changes over here and then we need to do that. Whenever my rank is equal to greater than or equal to, again, let's make it like greater than or equal to minimum rank and let's make it another condition and rank. So this measure is less than or equal to minimum rank, okay? plus four. That is my first condition. The second condition is whenever my right is okay, less than or equal to minimum rank and right whenever my rank is greater than or equal to max rank minus four. This is my line condition. So let me show it, uh, see that, okay, how it works. So let me take another, okay, table. So again, so another table. And that let me take uh, subcategory and the total sales. Again, the same thing. And then here I want to make the conditional formatting with that okay new thing again not the gradient but field value again measure highlighting measures second one and then let's see that one see top five values in orange color and the top least five values in this one this is how you do again let me explain that measure once more time okay so again the same values okay the same we found uh okay irrespective of this uh, uh categories okay Subcategories, I found the maximum rank and the minimum rank. And after that, I'm using switch function. I'm taking telling that, okay, whenever my uh, rank, this rank, okay, which I don't uh, uh, bring it over here, but still, whenever my rank is greater than or equal to minimum rank, and then like minimum rank plus four, sorry, minimum rank plus four, I need to get orange. So from first rank to like for fifth rank, I want to get orange. And here, Whenever I do have 17th rank, the maximum rank and the maximum minus four means like, okay, from the least, okay, top five ranks. So this logic. From the maximum to like, okay, so from the maximum, from the biggest rank to like, okay, fifth rank. When you want to get like this, then, okay, I want to get this light red color. I want to give like this. This is how you can do. Again, from this, you can, uh, go and get whatever you need to get and then again, even if you don't want to make it, so if you want to make other things into white color and then you can make uh, this particular entire uh, thing into white color or simply over here in the else part, you can give white color also. White color. This is how it looks. You don't want to go with that white color and then entire thing if you want to make changes again you can just uh, come over here and then so visual style you can make it like none also like it looks like this but if you want to make it that minimal color only but still wanted to make it white color whenever it is right default again this is how you look it looks again so however you want to make again you can make it as per your wish Later part again, you can explore this and then you can create some more uh, things also over here. Please let me know what you have done okay, with this one. Again, if you are still watching, okay, hope you like this video. Please like and share this video, right? 
if you wanted to still learn from me and then in my classes, okay, just uh, join our Power BI SQL and then or else at least real-time project batch so that you can learn a lot of things from us. Again, people who wanted to check yourself, okay, before giving your live interview, if you want to check uh, and then uh, get review of your merits and demerits and then review on your resume, whatever it might be, just join our free mock interviews. No need to pay anything, very simple. Join our free, free mock interviews. You can find this uh, data set from the description. You can find our email address from the description of this video. Go ahead and mail your resume to our okay, email address so that our people will call you and uh, schedule a mock interview so that you can know yourself and then you can get paid for your live interview and then get your desired job. Hope you're interested. So please like and share this video and thank you we will meet with another new real-time scenario until then bye have a great day jai